Good morning, friends. It's Alexor again. And yeah, people are already calling out again. Is Last Epoch dying? No, it's not dying. But obviously, the player numbers are going down, all right? So there's a bunch of questions of what's going on. They got new content, new seasons. It's been like three weeks-ish, roughly. And already people are leaving the game again to play something else. And again, I'm here to tell you to calm your tits and relax a little bit and explain to you why this is happening and what we can expect going forward. So let's first actually look at the numbers. If we look at SteamDB's charts, we will see that like green is last epoch, red is Diablo 4 and blue is Path of Exile. So you can see this was 8th of July when the new season launched. It went up to over 71,000 people playing the game. Which is, admittedly, way less than I expected. I thought it would go easily over 100k. But okay. I guess it was also because Diablo 4 was still going strong. This was season 4, by the way, for Diablo 4. Still going strong. It's now sort of leaving in anticipation for season 5, I guess. And you can tell at the bottom here, this is Path of Exile, right? This was Necropolis, and it's going down. And here, when it's starting again with Path of Exile, this is because the new season is about to launch. Tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow. Uh, at, at the time of recording this video, I know when it will go out, but tomorrow for my time. So, this, if you look actually back to the first launch of Last Epoch, which was at 260,000 players, this sort of pattern is always the same. But there's one thing you also need to notice with Last Epoch. The game is not finished yet. If you look at the roadmap, we now got 1.1, Harbinger's Pinnacle Boss, the Nemesis, and the Evade Dodge Room mechanic, right? 1.2 will have Primal Hunt endgame events. I don't know, it's just another endgame thing. The Ancient Era Story Chapter and Primordial Uniques. So, new stuff, new base stuff. Think about it. The Pinnacle Boss and the Harbingers were still core game mechanics. Ancient Era Story Chapter is a core game mechanic. Only for Fate Expansion, Unique False Echoes, new procedural side zones. Still core game mechanics. Skill sigils, endgame bosses, and transmog and die system. Game, core game mechanics. So I said before on stream many times over, the game, Last Epoch, even though it's a 1.0 release already, it's a, it's a sort of finished game. I think the core game will not be finished until we are at 1.4. And 1.4 will likely be in... I would say soonest, soonest a year. Well, soonest like 10 months, I guess. Because I'm sure for all these core things, they will be using the four months. They said themselves a new season will be coming every three to four months. So also with 1.1, many didn't realize that everything that is put into the game in season or in cycle two will all, or is also in legacy. Everything. And this will proceed until 1.4 as well. This is why I say there is no new seasonal content in Last Epoch coming for the next year, most likely, that is only seasonal, right? Like the other RPGs do it. Everything that is coming will go straight to the main game, like the legacy, all your old characters. This is why all I didn't even kill the Pinnacle Boss yet because I could not be bothered. I just went going to try the new uniques and make new build guides on my legacy characters that were already at level 98 or 100 or whatever. Um, because I, I personally don't like starting new seasons, starting from scratch with nothing, that's a bit boring to me. I do it in a new season if there's seasonal mechanic because that's cool, but just for that, when I can have the same thing in a legacy character, why would I do that? So anyway, um, so the point I'm trying to make here is, you will see this pattern, this pattern over here, for the next year for Last Epoch. And then, maybe with the transmog system, maybe when the campaign is done, I don't know, then you will actually see consistent higher numbers like you see with the other games. But even then, you see even Path of Exile is going down way below Last Epoch here. Actually at the pretty much same level as Last Epoch was, it was a little bit higher. Um, if you look at three years, we don't even have Last Epoch much here. But you see, Path of Exile always did the same thing. Path of Exile always did the same. This is just normal for ARPGs. 
We know this, this is just how it is. New season, lots of players come back, then it goes down. Like, VFX always goes from like 150,000, 130,000, 150,000 back to like 12,000. <laughs> it's actually a kind of crazy drop. It always goes down to like these numbers, right? 17,000, 16,000. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. So this is completely normal. All right. Everyone relax. The game is not dying. It's all fine. And personally, until the campaign isn't finished completely, they said we get 12 chapters in this game for the campaign. Right now we have nine. This is only adding one chapter, as it seems. Ancient Era Story chapter. So there's two more from what I'm gathering. Maybe this is wrong. Uh, maybe I'm misunderstanding what this actually means. Maybe this means it's going to be finished at that point. But at some point, at 1.4, we will have to have all the campaign cha uh, chapters. Otherwise, I don't consider the game finished. Because, again, if you look at the casual player who just finishes campaign, plays maybe a little bit of the monoliths, and then they're gone, you have to have all of it. So I said it before, I think this is totally fine, totally normal, but I think Lassie Poke should actually really look into some microtransactions to keep the game alive. They say... That they are totally fine there is no problem monetary wise or whatever it's all good even though the player numbers are low now already still i think they should have some better skins if you look at all the other games even perfect which has an 11 year old game engine has better looking skins than last epoch has and that is kind of crazy to me um so yeah they gotta look into this to keep the game alive until we get to the point i mean they've been they survived five years just in beta without much support so i guess they're fine still i would like this to see a little bit more of that so they can keep going anyway the point of this video i don't want to drag it out too long the point is it's all good it's all fine relax last epoch will come back next season we will throw at it again with 1.2 and i'll keep posting a bunch of um build guides because they still work well you guys enjoy them I um, I have a lot still to do, but for now, I'm actually all into Path of Exile because the new league is coming. So, it's totally fine to switch to the next game. Path of Exile is a great game. If you don't like Diablo 4, you can skip these, these seasons. That's fine. But Path of Exile or any other ARPGs, you can just switch back and forth. It's totally fine. Last Epoch is gonna be there. Relax, everyone. It's all good. That's basically the, the gist of this whole video. So, I was talking for like, I don't know, nine minutes or something. You know what I mean. Just relax. <laughs> it's all good, okay? I'll see you in the next video, guys.